Nick, thanks so much for joining me. Let's get right to it. Today, you testified before the Energy Committee subcommittee about a very important topic. Tell us about it. Well, the Department of Energy's Office of Energy and Efficiency and Renewable Energy spends approximately $2 billion of taxpayer money a year trying to commercialize alternative fuel technologies, alternative electricity technologies like wind and solar, uh, doing things that the private sector should be doing. It's a profound misuse and a waste of taxpayer dollars uh, and simply unnecessary. So it's important to let members know uh, that we should be eliminating these programs, not trying to build them up. So this topic, how does it affect everyday Americans? Why should they care about this? Well, if the average American cared about Solyndra, the massive failure of a government loan guarantee to a solar company that is now bankrupt and squandered half a billion of taxpayer dollars, they should care about EERE because this program spends $2 billion each year trying to effectively do the same thing, commercialize these technologies. And there's programs like the Super Truck Initiative, for instance, which tries to make energy efficiency a priority for the heavy duty trucking industry. And here's an industry uh, that operates on razor thin margins. They plan their driving routes down to a tenth of a mile. They're already cognizant of the fact that they use a lot of energy and they're trying to innovate ways, uh, innovate and find ways to save energy. We don't need a government program and to be spending taxpayer dollars to do these things. So should government be involved in any particular kind of way with these energy companies? The government has a role, but it's not through government spending programs. It's through adopting free market energy policies that opens access to domestic and international markets, that reduces the time frame for permitting and the environmental review for which these companies have to go through to allow for a more competitive economic environment. That's what's really going to result in a robust energy economy and provide more choices for consumers and better products at lower costs. All right. Thanks so much, Nick. We appreciate it.